داری توی هم مسقط توی ببین نهایی جون I have an exam tomorrow and I need to leave now so I said no I have this so I have my markers and I have some regular sheets So I will be trying to put my regular sheets onto this paper and just see how much I can really put down. That's the goal. That's the last step that I put down. Sorry for my little dog. He's just really good by the way. And I have my regular pair of tools over here on the side and I have a few colored pencil tweezers. And in this membrane, the phospholipid, I'm going to show you that my memory is pretty patchy. I'm just using like the symbol Sign, um, abbreviation, like the shorthand for it, because on the test I'm not going to have to tell you that this is phospholipid, what have you, um, like the really long ones, where I'm just going to have to say um, that it's a phospholipid and that it can't be a two. So that's how it exists in the in the membrane. Let's just pretend this membrane is a little bit more like a glass, all the way a glass. So, PF PF2 is going to encounter an enzyme called PLC gamma. And when that happens, it cleaves PF PF2. So that I will cleave through, the sugar goes away, so that it can be used in the NCAT transcription pathway. And it leaves the backbone, the phospholipid, D, A, G. Now this does not play in this pathway. Adaptive protein called RAS. That should be the sugar pair on the end. And adaptive protein. And that adaptive protein recruits a peripheral nucleotide exchange factor called SOM7. And when this binds, it activates the RAS. But uh, not quite. <laughs> uh, it it um, also the RAS also has to bind to um, this uh, GDP that has to be phosphorylated for it to be active. So uh, GTP. The RAS needs to bind to GTP. This is the shape it's drawing. And this is the RAS. But it also is in the saccharides. Phosphorylated. And it comes up in this. GDP. I've got like a phosphate that came out. I 
go through this cycle of possibility and depossibility. But when it's like this, this is when it's active. So um, that's a plant that it binds to this map of Kinase Cascade, which starts with a vowel. When it binds to a vowel, it changes its conformation and then it stimulates seeing meaning kindness activity and possibility and activates the next step and it activates the next step and it goes from the light skin substrate the transcription region of the plant. So this was for its exhibits. And then it meets up with this thing. This part to me is so interesting. Again, to put these two together, um, the a master transcription type to call the name of the one at the same time as the transcription. Binds to G, which results in the activations and the expression of growth, promoting, winning, control, anchor, and fertilizer, and the use of complex information, and contributes to the cycle of shape change. So, this is a really 